Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you this 2021 Hyundai Kona. This is the night trim. And the night trim is brand new for the Kona lineup. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the features this one has. So under the hood, they're going to be a 1.6 turbocharged four-cylinder engine that is connected to a seven-speed dual-clutch transmission. This engine produces 175 horses and a 195 pound-feet of torque. And the fuel economy numbers are 26 in the city. 29 highway and 27 combined. Here is the MSRP sticker of this 2021 Kona Knight. And here are the accessories that this one has. And the price on this one is 29,000. So if you guys are curious about the color, the color is called Galactic Gray. It's a little bit hard to say, but this color honestly looks really nice on this Kona. And this is the night trim. Basically, Hyundai came out with the uh, night trim in 2020 late 2020 for the 2021 model year and uh, this thing just looks amazing it does black out a good amount of things and it does uh, add those beautiful 18 rays wheels and uh, overall I think it just looks very good and the price is 29,000 coming to the front it's the same nothing was really changed for 2021 and with this night package it's really hard to tell uh, standing uh, from the front up here, they're going to be the turn signal indicator with the daytime running lights. And then in the bottom, they're going to be the high and low beam and they are LED. And this light right here, I think, I'm not sure if this is actually functional or not, but a few people commented on my previous uh, Kona videos saying that this light is a corner light, but I don't see any light inside of that housing. So I'm not exactly sure. In the bottom, they're going to be a fake vent and they're going to be a functional uh, vent on the side and around the headlight housing there's going to be a good amount of uh, brushed aluminum and a good amount of plastic and they're going to be a reflector right there and overall the design looks very good this vent right there is actually fake it's not functional but still I think it looks pretty good the grill is nice and big this is functional but the surrounding or in the bottom of it is actually not functional but I think it looks uh, fine and in the bottom they're going to be a functional vent in the middle and on the side they're going to be two fake vents but honestly this corner looks very good and it's very hard to tell that this is the night uh, trim so here is a side view of this corner and honestly this thing looks very good right here from the side and this color looks amazing they're going to be three colors to choose from they're going to be this color and they're going to be white and black and there is six trims that you could choose uh, from there is the se sel sel plus then you will have the night package which is this one and then there is the limited and then the ultimate but the side view of this night trim looks very good this one actually have some roof racks and those roof racks are a 250 dollar option for the mirrors they're going to be a turn signal indicator and on the night trim basically the mirrors get changed to gloss black and i think they look very good the window cells are finished in flat black and uh, everything just looks very good right here on the side and for the rims i love the design and uh, the name of those rims they are called rays wheels and uh, they look honestly very good on this kona but anyways they are finished in semi-gloss black and uh, overall the design looks very good the size of those rims they are 235 45 18 but now let's go ahead and move to the back and i'll go ahead and show you the back of this kona Here's the back of the Kona, and honestly, I think the Kona is the best looking SUV in its class. Up there, there's going to be a third brake light. The wiper is going to be right here, and Hyundai badge or logo in uh, the middle, of course. 1.6 turbocharged with all wheel drive badge on the right. And for the taillights, the taillights have a really nice, cool, slim look to them. They are LED. And in the bottom, they're going to be the turn signal indicators with the reverse light. And they're going to be the reflector right there, right underneath them. They are actually halogen. So the turn signal indicators and the reverse light are halogen. And Kona is going to be written all the way to the left. And in the bottom, they're going to be some flat black with a little bit of brushed aluminum. So I really like the color mix right here in the back. And here is the backup camera. And to open the tailgate, they're going to be only one way does not have automatic tailgate uh, release. So here is a key, feels nice and solid. It does have Hyundai badge in the back. It does have a little bit of brushed aluminum on it. And there are going to be four buttons. They're going to be lock, unlock, uh, and this is a trunk release button, but it does not have a automatic uh, tailgate. 
and it does have a panic button. So let's go ahead and click on this button that basically will unlock the SUV and then you could actually go there and open it manually. So it does not have automatic tailgate. And here is the back. It does have a privacy cover that goes up and down with the tailgate. So let's say if you close it, it does go down. When you open it, it goes up with it. And here is the back, nice and spacious for a small SUV. They're going to be a light all the way to the left, but there is no light on the right. And let me go ahead and show you what's underneath. There is a storage place here in the back and some Konas actually do have a spare tire and some Konas do not. So this one does not have a spare tire in the back. Here is the door handle. It is finished in the same color as the SUV and it does have a button. This button is to lock and unlock the SUV. Here is the door panel and the door panel is all finished in plastic. So this top portion right here is plastic, plastic, plastic. Literally everything is plastic for 29,000. This is bad. I really wish that Hyundai changes uh, this because for almost 30,000, you're getting basically plastic, not even a soft material up top. So I'm not exactly sure why they're doing that. The door handle looks very good. It's uh, a little bit on the lighter side, but it does feel nice and solid. Here are the window switches, door locks, mirror controls. Every, everything looks all right. There's going to be a little bit of storage place in the bottom, a bottle holder, and it does have infinity sound system. And here is the interior does have power seats not a big fan of the design of the seats but they are actually comfortable so uh, that's good and here are the seat controls all right so coming inside this 2021 corner night it's really hard to tell that this is the night trim uh, from the inside but overall the interior is nice and spacious and windows are nice and big and the seats are very very comfortable here is the steering wheel it is wrapped in leather and uh, all the way to the left there are going to be the phone controls with the volume controls voice command and it does have uh, the cruise controls on the right with all the safety features and uh, this button is to control the screen in the middle there's a few things that you could toggle through and uh, the gauges look all right. Nothing too special, nothing too crazy. Uh, I love the fact that the font is nice and clear, very easy to understand. And here is the headlight control with the turn signal controls. And all the way to the right, they're going to be the wiper controls for the front and back. Engine start stop is located right there. And all the way to the left, they're going to be the brightness control, blind spot monitoring system, link keep assist and traction control. And here is the blind spot monitoring system. It is located on the mirror. It's not located inside like some cars. Here is the screen. It's a seven inch screen. It does look pretty good, but the bezels are a little bit on the bigger side. I really wish it was finished in a different material. It's finished in plastic, uh, like that flat black plastic. I'm not a big fan of it, but it doesn't look that bad. They're going to be a volume knob, a tune knob, and a few hard buttons right here on the left and right. And the system itself, it's nice and responsive. It's not laggy at all, so that's good. I'm not exactly sure why the home button is located all the way there. It's kind of far away from the driver. I really wish it was located right here. Here are the AC vents. Here is the emergency light button. And I love the fact that it flashes. It does have brushed aluminum around uh, uh, the vents. And here are the climate controls, super easy to use. Here is the temperature controls, fan speed, and here are the modes and then AC, and this is for the back. And in the bottom, they're going to be a very good amount of storage place, storage place inside. And they're going to be a USB 12 volt, another USB, and they're going to be an aux. And here is the shifter that will control the seven speed automatic transmission. It's a DCT transmission, dual clutch automatic transmission. It does have plus and minus. And they're going to be the drive mode button right here. It does have sport and normal. And the screen in the middle just changes to basically red. And when you put it back to normal, it changes back to white. Heated seats, it does have three stages. Passenger heated seats, 
hill descent and it does have a lock bind basically this will lock the wheels they will spin at the same time so let's say if you're stuck in mud or snow this becomes very helpful two cup holders right here and here is the manual handbrake and the armrest it's the, it's finished in that synthetic rubber material but i'm not a big fan of it an okay storage place here is the rear view mirror it's a little bit on the bulky side and it's a little bit big for this small suv there are going to be a few binds right here and here is the glasses holder and uh, they're going to be a switch to basically keep the lights on or off or leave it in the middle halogen lights which is expected of course here is a visor it is finished in plastic uh, but it feels nice and solid and does have a mirror inside of it and there is a light up there you could turn it off or on here is the back door the back door is the same as the front this top portion right here is plastic plastic the armrest is plastic so i really wish that the armrest was not plastic and the bottom this is plastic as well good amount of storage place here in the sec in the back door but i really wish it was a tiny bit bigger speaker in the bottom and here is the window switch and here is the back of the Kona. The back seats are a little bit on the smaller side, but that's expected in this class. Headroom is actually not bad. There's going to be a light up there. And inside, let's see if there's some AC vents. There is no AC vents. For 29,000, I really wish there was at least AC vents or maybe a USB or a 12 volt or something like that. And there's going to be a, uh, an armrest with two cup holders. Let me go ahead and show you that. Here is the armrest, it's finished in cloth, it does have two cup holders, and here is how the front looks like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review of this 2021 Hyundai Kona Knight. If you guys are around and if you guys are interested, make sure to come and see Ross here at Key Hyundai in Milford, Connecticut. And if you guys would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe and as always, I'll see you next time.